What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to Cooking with Maya. Today I don't have my cameraman. I'm using my cell phone and just got to do this dish because if I don't hurry up and do this dish, I may not be able to do this dish. This is the dish that was brought to my house for Juneteenth. It's been in the freezer, been keeping it cold, but it's like time to use it now, right? So what I'm going to do is read the recipe to you. It is a J Jamaican brown stew chicken. Okay, dish is what it is. And so in this bowl, it consists of, I'm going to read all the ingredients. The chicken has been marinating in its sauce and everything. And then there's a little dessert. They came with these two little... I think they're sweet. I bit a little and they're sweet. And I believe the strawberries they gave me have cut up. And so I believe the strawberries go there and whipped cream. So we're going to figure that one out too, okay? But this is a Jamaican dish. I've never made one before. And so what I'm going to do now is put my eyes on and I'm going to read to you all of that. That clock is annoying sometimes. And I'm going to read to you all the ingredients that's right in this and what seasonings that they gave me to use. Okay, so none of my seasonings are going to be used that I always use for this dish. Okay, so my ingredients is three pounds of chicken, two tablespoons of chicken seasoning, two tablespoons of ground C-U-M-I-N coming, salt and pepper to taste, two tablespoons of fresh garlic, two tablespoons of browning. Okay, so I guess that's what this is. <laughs> okay, didn't have that up there. So we have that, and then it was um, two tablespoons of garlic. I said browning. Okay, half a cup of onion, three-fourths, that's what's all in this bowl, three-fourths uh, cut up bell peppers, okay? There is three-fourths teaspoon of scotch bonnet peppers, um, it also says that it's optional that you can also use cayenne pepper or uh, cayenne or red peppers. There's two tablespoons of green onion chopped. There's three tablespoons of coconut oil, canola, canola oil. That's what you want to use. That's what we have in this pot right now, which I'm going to put on the eye right now and get it started heating up. And, um, yeah, so we wash the chicken with the vinegar you can do it with the lime and um there we go now i'm going to tell you what's in this bowl that's what's in this bowl what's in this bowl is fresh garlic onions bell peppers scotch bonnet peppers green onion fresh thyme carrots celery chayote which is my first time ever using that and uh carrots and i said that <laughs> And, um, oh, well, the fruit browning is for that, okay? So, anyway, that's what's all in this bowl. And I didn't separate everything. And, you know, when they gave me the bag, also some big giant beans came in there. So, what I did was I opened up those beans. Oops. Well, I lost that one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you laugh at me, True. It's my grandson over there. <laughs> so, here's another one. I won't drop this one, but they're big. So I took them out of the shelling casing that they were in, okay? So one of the things it says for us to do is season chicken with all dry ingredients. I did let that. Then it says, all right, then it says add this. So, we get it going, bring you over here. Like I said, I'm doing this on my own. <laughs> so, see if you can see what's going on. If I got this camera right, there we go. So, it's going to get to be browning. I should have had True come over here and, and be my cameraman and hold that camera for me. So, we got to get a spoon out. So that I forgot to get out. Here we go. So anyway, it was really nice to have my first guest. Let that brown. 
So we're going to let that brown right there. Okay, so as that is browning, it also says, this is my first time doing this. I got to follow their instructions, especially being, you know, this kind of a dish. You don't want to mess it up. <laughs> so, and I did read this, trust me, before I did this. But then I figured, you know, let's do this live. Let's do this together. Because when I read it a couple of days ago, yeah, out of, out of sight, out of mind. So anyway, wants me to avoid this chicken. So once the chicken is um, it's set for about five minutes, make sure it don't stick. Five more minutes, <laughs> and um, this is going to be interesting to see all of this come together. So there is a few things added in this bowl that wasn't on this recipe, but it was in the bag that they had given me. So I just and because the outside of the casing of the green beans, it was so big, I didn't know what it was. It kind of cracked open, and I saw that it was, but the outside just was kind of damaged. So I was like, no, we just gonna take the inside of that bean and throw that baby in here with the, all the rest of the stuff. And so, you see how that works out. <laughs> kind of interesting. There we go, so it don't stick. I should have put the timer on. The you know, one thing about it is when it's time for taste testing, it's going to be interesting because Big True is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to be a part of the tasting, tasting of this. And it's going to be surprising to George because he's in the room and, you know, he's doing other work. <sighs> Mixing and editing music for different people that he records and hooks up and everything, which is an honor to have some of these guys coming over here and um, using his services. So I'm excited, especially after their finished projects. Because it's a Luma. Also, I can't name everybody's name, but it's awesome. So. It's still working its way. I will say this, there was a lot of seasonings that went into this. <laughs> There's a lot of seasonings that went into this. And um, some of mine, most of mine is included. So that made me feel really good too. So um, there was no instructions about exactly what was in these little containers, but they were had numbers on them, right? And... Like this was the oil, so that was self-explanatory. I know this has to be the browning that's going to go in with all of this. But like the seasoning, it was a lot in the, this big size container filled with seasoning, right? So I'm just hoping that all of those seasonings that they said was in that container. <laughs> because it said use all the dry ingredients so I poured that whole container over that so this is going to be interesting because it wasn't like a side paper um, or anything to say like all of these ingredients or seasoning dry seasonings were all mixed together so you don't have to worry about it and I was like okay <laughs> there was no side paper but in my mind I allowed myself to imagine that it was so let's get this turn. Oh, that's what they meant by making sure it don't stick. Alright. Didn't time that. I think that's been about five minutes. Because the object is not to let it all cook. Right? First. Here we go. We're going to throw all those vegetables in there. Now, I'm going to pull one out. And this was a vegetable that I've never seen before. But, mm, it's a cross between a pear and a cucumber. Okay? Really elegant for salads. You can eat them by themselves. 
um, it is called, and it's supposed to be a squash, but it's C H A Y O T E. Chayote? Maybe that's how it's pronounced. Be that as it may, it is getting ready to be a big part of my diet. <laughs> I really fell in love with this. And once I found out, all you got to do is, you know, peel it, take the seed out of it. It could be savory or sweet. You know, that's what I'll be saying. Elevating the issue, taking it higher. So let's give this a stir. And we're going to add the brownie. So. so I'm going to bring you over here so you can see what it looked like. What's up? Oh, I meant the food. <laughs> Hard doing with a cell phone. <laughs> All right, let me put that back there. It's beautiful though. So I'm gonna turn the fire down. because I want that to simmer. Now, it doesn't say do this part. But I am going to add a little water. This is why. The bottom of this bowl still has a lot of seasoning, right? So, I'm gonna add a little water to this. I'm gonna put a lid over this, and it says about 10, 15 minutes. So this time I am gonna set the alarm, but not a full 15, cause it's already been like cooking. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give it 12. Give it about 12. Yeah, 12 minutes, something like that. If it needs 15 more, I'll give it to it. But I want all of these seasonings out of here. And I don't want this to burn, baby. That's why we turn the fire down. We're going to put a lid on her. Oh, my stars. And this is a stew. This is a stew, true. So, what are we going to do while this is simmering? Oh, it looks so good. I'm not kidding. All right. That looks so good. I am not kidding. Let me rinse my hands. Well, oh, I know what I could do in the meantime, True. While that is cooking, we can prepare this. Why don't you go wash your hands and let's prepare these little um, snacks. It's only was two of them for me and Jordan, but you're here and I could share mine with you and you can help me create them. So, okay. One of the things I am lacking is saucers. I gotta get on that. Well, actually, because they all broke. So we have this one, and we're going to do it like this. And so, like I said again, I don't know what these are. There was no instructions for these, um, as other than two of them. They're shaped like this. If anybody knows what they are, please let me know. They're kind of sweet. It's kind of a crust, I guess, but I don't know the name of them. Okay, and so what we're gonna do, let me get a spoon. Go go get a spoon right there. Two spoons if you can. Is it two spoons in there? 
This is kind of cool. Is it two? So, they're good. They're good. Hey. And this is true. Say what's up, everybody. What's up, what's up? <laughs> yes. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is pour a little in here, and I want you to stir that up first, okay? I'm going to mix that. And I don't care. Just stir it up. Just mix it up. No, you're just going to use one spoon. I want you to mix it all up, okay? And then once it's all mixed up, come on in here. So I did say Moses was my youngest cook that made a meal, but it looks like you my next, my youngest, youngest guest, but not my, yeah, you're my first youngest, youngest guest. <laughs> so you can stir that up real good. Looks good. Don't make a mess. Try not to be like your Nana. I forgot to get the top and put on this. So, oh, it's smelling so good. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me get a top for this baby. I think I'm done. You think you're done? Mmm, I think you're done too. So now you know what you can do. So let's show them what it's going to look like. That's what it looked like. It's with the... And what they gave us was some dairy whipped toppings. This is extra creamy, it says. Okay? I can put that on. So that goes on last. So what we're going to do now is let's fill these up. Do yours. Do that one, I mean. Spread them out. Put them in there. Get it all over the bottom. I'm getting way more than you. I'll slow down. Wait till I make sure you have enough to go all over. Let me help you because it's sliding. There you go. <laughs> you only got two. <laughs> It's hard to get in the spoon. Go ahead, put it in there. Here. There you go. That's good. Yes. That's good. That's good. Oh, you can't be seen. Let's move this. And then it's taking up all the, the camera time. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit more. Let's do each one more. You do the rest of that one in there. I guess this is how it goes. <laughs> there you go. Got it? It's a nice full one. Got it? Hey, you put that in the sink. Throw it on the side. <laughs> You've ever sprayed this before? Actually, yes. All right, so I'm going to do this one, and you just can do that one. Oh, boy, I guess. That looks so good. <laughs> I thought you knew how to do it. You got to put that spoon down. Put it on the side of the plate right here. There we go. All right. Let's see. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Where'd that little lid go? Ooh. You excited? Yeah. Let me turn this over. Let's see how this doing. That looks good. I know, huh? Looks familiar. What does it look like? How does it look familiar? I've never seen it before. So how could it look familiar? <laughs> I've seen like something that looks a lot like this. It's not this, but... Right? Yeah, it looks so good. Oh my stars. <laughs> okay, so... I don't know how these get eaten. Okay? I'm gonna wash. Where's that other little... Oh, would you you had your pizza on a little saucer today. That's a dang shame there's only two saucers in the house. Where's that little white saucer you had your, had your pizza on? Is it in the sink? See if it's in the water. Anyway. Yeah. How is it? Wash that out for us. Get that dried off so we could put this out of the bowl and put it on the saucer so it has more visibility. It'd be more visible. That's what I'm trying to say. So, so far, how's everybody going? I know everybody's probably been all over my page. <laughs> See me just posting, posting, posting all kind of stuff. People are like, that's from the past. Let me tell y'all something. It's still happening today. And the whole thing, it's like, people are freaking out. It's so disrespectful. People are burning stuff. People are looting. People are, you know what, let me say something. Yes. And I would be on that same bandwagon 
had I not known our history. Had I not known the massacres of building up our establishments. Can I have this one? No, you don't get a whole one at all. This is me and Jordan's. But what I'm going to do is share with you. As member, I said I would share mine with you. I don't think Jordan will, unless he don't like them, because this is something we've never had. Okay? Yeah. And so we're going to eat that before dessert. No, we're going to, this is almost done. Then we're going to make up some bowls. So we got to get three bowls clean. Go ahead. You said you wanted to help. Good be on it. Let's get us three bowls ready. Because this is about ready. Alarm going to be going off pretty soon. So anyway, back to what I was saying. I know, you don't need that much. Oh, my stars. That's enough for every dish in there. <laughs> so actually, you only need two bowls. Because this bowl we're going to use right here. We're going to put the stew. The stew. So we're going to put the stew in these bowls. This is what we're going to do. And we're going to call your uncle. And we're going to taste this. It should be going off. We got about five more minutes. So, this is it. When you burn down a whole city, when you burn down, not once, but twice, in their homes, mothers, children, families. You know, we're trying to get over the fact, if you guys check this out, we ain't gonna never get over it. They ain't gonna never get over it. Root it down, DNA, in the blood. We know what we were taught in our homes from our families. We know what we all watch on TV and what we were taught. But yet we were still taught to be forgiving, to be loving, to be compassionate. But yet none of those, we didn't get the same, we don't get the same back, okay? We're called lazy and all this stuff, but when I look back, it's like, really? To steal everything from us, all of our history, uh-huh. I'm seeing people wearing the unks. White folks like, oh, it's the thing to do. I was told that a lady said that they. some people think it's a good luck charm. So they've also stole our ancestries, the things that we use as sacred for lucky charms. It's like Kumbaya. They sit by the fire and sing Kumbaya like it's a campfire song. It is not a campfire song. They have taken all of our heritage, everything about us, and they have turned it into something as if they started it and found it and turned it into something else. We, we are rising up on another level. True, we need another Red Bull, baby. We're rising up. Okay? The fact of the matter is, is that we're not looking for revenge. Because if we were, a whole bunch of people would be dead and in trouble. We're not looking for revenge. The groups that you see of the black people that are all learning how to arm themselves are all legal. They all used to be military. They are to protect us, not to go around killing like the KKK. It's a totally different group. This group also wants y'all to know that they ain't got nothing to do with Black Lives Matters and they are not protesting. They ain't about all that. They're about arming themselves to protect us. See, they right there at the head of the KKK quarters. And when the KKK called out blacks and said they were going to mass kill us the 4th of July, that was a threat. No, if it was a lie, black folks, and y'all said that and made all those brothers and sisters come together, shame on you. But if it was true and the KKKs did put that cat call out, shame on you. Don't call it bluff. See, a lot of us is coming out of the closets on another level. The whites are coming out of the closets and proving that they've always been a little racist. <laughs> and blacks is coming out going, you know what? We've been wanting to say a lot of this shit for many, many years, but we have been quiet. But a crack in the door and a foot got let in shoved it open and now it's wide open it's wide open don't be mad at us because y'all done burned not some not y'all but 
when I say y'all, I am not meaning every white person that I know. There's a lot of good, good cops. There's a lot of good white people. There's a lot of bad white people. There's a lot of bad black people. There's a lot of bad and good in every race. Trying to figure out who's whose is what the issue is. But when this shit happened, now it's easy to see who's who. Now we're seeing who's who. Now we're seeing who's who. Okay? And that's the, that's the beauty to me of it and sadness. Because those that you may think all your life was by your side, you're learning that they trueness is coming out. See, they say when a person get drunk, they, they realness comes out. Well, let a person also, when it comes to racial disparities and unjustness, trying to balance it out. Wondering why we is on the down low and got to work extra hard to even try to climb up to the top is because it was started from the beginning. Kept us down and see a half of the white folks don't know why we are so angry. And why we are fighting for change, y'all. And because you don't want to believe in what we're thinking about, what we want. We got a lot of mixed up people out there with us. There's like four different groups going on. Have y'all know. So please separate that shit. Okay? And don't put all of us that are protesting and want what is owed to us on the same boat that you did when they brought us over here. I, re I rebelled. I'm rebelling. Things I've been wanting to say for years and years and years. I'm going to take advantage of this moment and opportunity to say it. Food's ready. <laughs> I think it's time to dish up some plates. Ooh, let's see what we're working with here. Not true, I'm not gonna put a lot into you. Hey, go tell your uncle to come here. I ain't gonna yell for me this time. I'm gonna even go stop like, hey, your boy J Dub. I just look at this stuff and I'll be like, that is corny. The Negro be holding the camera. He see the food. He know what's cooking. You see what I'm saying? So let's just keep it real. <laughs> let's keep it real. It's time to keep everything real. We're going to keep it real. We're going to keep everything real. Keep everything real. That's how I feel about it right now. You coming on my mom? You coming? Yep. All right. Now we need to get us all some snug utensils to eat with. Talk to the people. What do you think about what's going on and all this stuff that's going on and the protesting and the riot at people, young men your age? How old are you? Tell the people your name and how old you are. I am True Shaw from Angela Day Shaw. And who's your, who's your mom? Miss Oregon, eh? Yeah, she owns a, a company. <laughs> and, uh, uh, she what kind of company? Oh, uh, Oh, you don't know that word, cannabis? Oh, a cannabis industry. And, um, she says that I'm the co I'm the youngest co-owner of a cannabis industry. So. Yes, you are. And then my name is True, and I'm nine years old. I didn't tell you too long ago. And, um, yeah. Hi! Ready? Guess what? You didn't expect this, did you? <laughs> First time not on the camera, and this one's gonna be yours. And so this is that. Um, I'm gonna pour us a little something. Go ahead and talk to the people. Say hello. This is all. Hello, people. <laughs> True, this is a drink you don't get to get. And this is mango. This is one we know for a fact we love, okay? This is a good one. And he doesn't get much of it because I drink it all up because it's so good. It's only 5% alcohol. You don't get this. But you know what you're going to get to get? Watch this. Lord have mercy. I know. This is an, 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 an unrehearsed. This is just... If they, if y'all knew what time it was right now, actually it is 1230. You're going to get mango. How do you go? <laughs> so you'll get a mango. We have a mango uh, wine and you have a mango sale. Hey. All right. Let's see what we're working with. And that was the dessert. The little thing is ready. Okay. All right. So let's do it. Come on.
Thank you, Mama, for the food. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you. It's turned off. Oh, the bottom is hot. Hey, sorry. Let's see what, what is it is hot. It just literally came out of the pan. Is it spicy, spicy? Oh, just fire, fire hot. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. The seasoning. I don't know if I was supposed to use that whole container of seasoning. Because it is just too salty. And if that's mm. the way it's supposed to be, I mean, it's good, but I could have omitted their seasonings and used my own seasonings. But everything else, other than the seasonings being too much, I might, like I said, I, there was no instructions. There was no instructions other than the recipe, but they had all these little containers with numbers on them, and they didn't leave much of, of uh, very good, but it, the season, it's too much seasoning. I How big were those little containers? Like really good. There, but. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're big. As far as I'm concerned, it was it's, they're not my seasonings, and they probably use seasonings, seasonings that have maybe, like I said, some of this, well, no, I don't know what all this was in there. I don't know if they use Johnny seasonings because that's kind of like um, it's just too much, too too much. I don't haven't been using seasonings except like this. I have a strong boy. Yeah, it's strong. It's strong. Now what we can do is um put it back in and we can dilute this with some water. I would love to dilute this with some water. Let's taste these now. Let's see what they. You ain't got to do that. Some paprika. Take that salt down. Dilute it a little bit. So let's go for whatever that is. I, I asked everybody if they know what that is. If they know what kind of bottom that is, let us know. So, hey, you get right there. You can get right there. I'm going to put this aside. <laughs> and we're going to work on improving that particular dish. So let's see what this is about. I don't know how it works. Oh, you excuse. <laughs> Here, try that. Hold it like that, I guess. There are no instructions for this either. There was no instructions for this one either. Don't know. They just sent, but it's a blessing. I'm not gonna complain. We're gonna figure out how we're supposed to work with it. But no, there was no instructions. Mm. What you think? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. Interesting. I just wish I knew what this crust was. <laughs> mm. It's good though. It's good. But the crust was like hard. 